Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about YACC2. The full form of YACC is yet another compiler compiler. This uh, YACC tool is a parser generator, right? It is a tool which produces a parser for a given grammar. This uh, YACC tool generates code for the parser in C programming language. This tool, this tool takes a program as an input right this day uh, yacc tool takes a program as input and that program uh, should be as a file with dot y extension right and for that file which uh, it takes uh, as a, an input for that file it gives as an output the y dot tab dot c file right and uh, this uh, y dot tab dot c file it is nothing but it is a uh, code uh, in C programming language for a parser, right? It is a C program, right? For a parser. When this program y.tap.c runs on C compiler, the C compiler gives a.out file as output. And uh, this a.out is an object code for the uh, required syntax analyzer. This uh, yacc is available as a command. On the unique system right suppose uh, what happens uh, this YACC tool right uh, it takes uh, as an input a program right and uh, that program must be as a file with dot y extension right so what happens in a unique uh, system uh, this command YACC and then name of file foo dot y right this foo dot y is a program right which is taken as input by the yacc tool so when this command yacc foo dot y is executed on unique system then what will happen this command will uh, transform this file into a c program called y dot tab dot c right and uh, this uh, c program is nothing but it is a syntax analyzer right when this program y dot tab dot c runs on c compiler the C compiler gives a dot out file as output. Right. And this uh, a dot out is an object code for the parser. This uh, source program which is taken as an input by YACC tool. Right. It has three parts. First is the declarations. And the second part is rules. Right. Rules uh, are enclosed in this second part. Right. This second part is enclosed in uh, these symbols, uh, these uh, double uh, mod symbols. Right. And the third part of uh, this uh, source program for YACC tool is supporting C routines. Right. Now let us uh, study these uh, parts uh, one by one. First, uh, we will study about declaration part. Right. Uh, this uh, declaration part has two optional sections. The first section in the first section we put ordinary c declarations delimited by uh, these symbols right for example you can see here here uh, you can see that uh, in these uh, symbols right uh, we have put this c declaration right so what happens uh, in uh, this uh, part uh, which is uh, delimited by these symbols uh, here we can place declarations uh, of any temporaries which are used by rules or procedures of the second and third parts of the program right so this is the first section of declaration part and uh, the second section it may contain the declaration of tokens right so in this uh, we can declare tokens so here we can use this keyword uh, this symbol mod symbol token so this is a keyword right so this uh, keyword is used for declaring the tokens so here in this example you can see that here we have declared this digit as a token right so this is the first part of the source program which is uh, taken as input by the yacc tool right so the first part is a declaration part and it has two optional sections right first section in first section we put ordinary c declarations and uh, these uh, declarations must be delimited by these symbols now let us see the second part of this uh, source program which is taken as input by yacc tool right the second part in second part the rules are defined 
right? In the second parts, rules are written. So each rule consists of a grammar production and a associated semantic action. So what are these semantic action? Semantic action is a sequence of C statements, right? So semantic action is performed whenever we reduce the associated production. Uh, for, now for example, consider this uh, production of a grammar. It has a left side and at the uh, right side we have these alternates, right, separated by bar. Alternate 1, alternate 2, alternate 3 and so on up to alternate n. So corresponding to this production in uh, the source program for YACC tool, in the rules part, we will write this rule left side of uh, this uh, production colon alternate one right and uh, uh, along with this alternate one we will write the semantic action one which is associated with this alternate one then bar right and then uh, second alternate and then in curly braces uh, we will write the semantic action two which is associated with uh, this alternate two right so on up to alternate n right and uh, at last, we will write this uh, semicolon, right? And uh, as I have told you earlier, that this part of the source program in which uh, rules uh, are written, that part must be uh, enclosed in these uh, double mode symbols, right? Now let us see one example. See here, uh, this example, in this example, uh, here the rule part is having only a single rule, right? Uh, so this is the left uh, side of uh, production, right? And this is the right side of production of a grammar, right? And uh, along with this, uh, this is the semantic action in curly braces. So here we have associated this semantic action with this uh, production, right? And uh, after that, we have put semicolon, right? So here you can see that this plus sign is in quotes, right? So what happens if uh, there are terminals in uh, this uh, production, then what happens? Uh, these uh, terminals, either they must be declared as uh, tokens in the declaration part, or if they are not declared as token in uh, the declaration part, then these terminals in the rules, they must be in single quotes right now let us see the third part of a source program which is taken as input by yacc2 the third part uh, consists of supporting c routines right and uh, a lexical analyzer by the name of yylex must be provided other procedures such as error recovery routines may be added as necessary